hello guys and welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing well so today this video is going to be a mixture of hair care hair styling and what i get done at the hairdressers i'm actually going to the hairdressers tomorrow so i thought i would bring you along to that and show you what i get done but today i'm actually going to do a shoot today with one of my friends so i thought i'd show you how i style my hair for a more shoot occasion i mix between my hair being curly and also as well i really like this like blowout straight bob look but that was yesterday so usually i try to do that when i have fresh hair but today i'm going to curl my hair and just make it a lot of volume so first off i'm going to use some products in my hair i'm going to be using the christophe robin paris this is the instant volumizing leave-in mist so it's a bit of a conditioner as well and it's really good to protect your hair before putting heat on especially if you apply it quite a lot of heat like me i'm also going to put in the professional sebastian no breaker you're supposed to put this on on damp hair but i've been using this as well on like my hair again before i style it other products i have here is my wet brush it's such an amazing brush it detangles and doesn't tug at your hair and as well as i have a little clip for doing the layers i have my sebastian professional hairspray and also the tools i'm going to use today are some ghd these are the platinum plus straighteners which i've been really loving i am quite new to styling my hair with straighteners i go between these the ghd rise which is like the brush and also a classic wand however with my short hair i found it really easy to grab the bits at the back which are a little bit shorter with the straightener i feel like i just have a little bit of control so i find it now actually quite easy to do do it with a straightener which is amazing because it's been my like goal to be learning how to use it so yeah so that's what i'm going to do today so first off going to put some protection in my hair so like i said i probably style my hair pretty much every other day just because the nature of my hair and the nature of my job they don't really work well together <laughs> my hair just loses its shape as you can see it goes super curly and really random and doesn't hold its place um when i go to sleep so it means that when i have to do like my jobs like shooting um or doing some videos i have to then do some styling so yeah i regularly style my hair quite often but just because of the nature of my job but i do make sure that i try and do some masks and make sure i'm putting some really good quality products in there but i'll get on to that in a next section of the video so now i'm going to curl my hair so as you can see i've just done one layer here so it's just a thin layer and i like to do this so they're not big clunky curls and not like dolly ones they're like they'll hopefully just turn into nice wavy ones so i'm going to section it off like so what i do is i drag down to make that bit straight and then flick over and then pull away and then i'll just kind of help move it into position and then i try and not brush it out until i need to go because that will make it last longer as well As you can see, it's quite undone the curls. I'm not too bothered about the style of the curls on the bottom layer because it's gonna be hidden by the rest of the hair, but it's just nice to have a little bit of movement. And then each layer, I'm going to just do a really light spray of hairspray. You can use hairspray. Dry shampoo is really good as well for holding the hair as well. So I'm just going to do a distance away and just spray that in. And then go on to the next layer so each time i get the layer i just make sure i brush it through so it's all soft and ready to go and we go again okay so they're the kind of like the main layers done so i have the top layer left to do so on one side of my parting is this is just like the one layer left i think i have two more layers on this side just because it's a bit thicker and obviously you can see that my parting more on this side so what i do is i just finish it off with just keeping my uh, my fringe layer up so it's with the other side so it's all even like so i'm just going to finish that layer off before i carry on So I thought I'd quickly 
quickly show you with this strand how I curl it just to make it a little bit more easy. So what I like to do is really softly do a pressure and I just like to do it away from my face and then just drag out diagonally down like so and then it just pings up. I try not to hold like really tight down on it. I think that's where it creates that really weird like jaggery curl and also as well can be a bit more damaging to your hair. So now I've done the kind of the base layer. I'm now going to go on to the final bit which is the top. So again I just like to make sure I brush it all through. I kind of leave these pieces till last and like I said every layer I just make sure I pick it up again just so I can see I'm not missing anything and then brush that through so you're brushing it away from the curls you've already done so you're not brushing the existing curls out and then again just going to carry on curling it So what I'm going to do is put it back to where it was and also sorry the other clips I need to have are these clips you can get them from Amazon these were kindly gifted from Laura Mercier but the only difference is it's got the branding on it um I'll leave the Amazon ones down below just really handy as well when you're doing your makeup you can put your hair away from your face also it's so why it doesn't dent your hair so if you've done your hair and then you're doing your makeup you're not damaging it so with the pieces what i like to do got such a lot of hair growth at the moment um is just do the same style or kind of doing a di diagonal curl like so but then what i like to do with these pieces whilst i'm getting ready um or i'm just kind of like around the house i just like to wrap it around my finger get the clip and then just pin it in place so it looks like a <laughs> looks crazy for the morning but it just holds it in place so it means that the fringe will last longer during the day which is what i want and again i'll do the same for here drag it away from the face and then kind of drag it down grab the hair and do a pin round like so so i let my hair do its thing do a little hair spray let that set in place and then later before I go I'll then just kind of get it ready um brush it all out so it's kind of more a chilled out hair but yeah this is what I find helps with keeping my hair staying longer throughout the day just leaving it do not brush it out yet um and you'll find that it will last longer if you have quite fine hair which doesn't hold like mine so yeah, so that's how I curl my hair. Hello guys, I hope you are doing well. Excuse the mountain on the forehead. I'm actually all wrapped up, so we're gonna go with it. Um, but I'm actually off to go to the hairdressers to go and get my hair done, which is <gasps> so exciting. Um, I was very actually planned, prepared in advance, because it's actually not that bad yet, but it will be. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get it done now, and it's Friday, and I just thought, let's get it done now before it gets busy, because my calendar is booking up with work which is exciting got some really exciting campaigns but yeah really exciting day i just had the photographer come around to shoot our house which was really interesting and yeah just been doing some admin, admin work did a friday get ready with me and yeah now i'm off to the hairdressers <laughs>
myself in but I wanted to show you and talk to you through the process of my hair mask. Part of my routine is making sure I do a couple of hair masks every week because I think it's super important, well it is important especially as I've got quite weak fine hair. I dye my hair and I style my hair pretty much on a regular basis so it's super important that I really look after it. I cannot believe I'm showing, talking to you with this green mask on. I've just actually put a face mask on as well because I just thought Whilst I've got my hair in a mask, I might as well put a face mask on. So I've just put on the L'Occitane Purifiant Mask. So I mix between my masks and my, I think this is my absolute favourite one. And they kindly sent the larger size. It's incredible. So this is the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. Usually you can get it in a little pot, which I will leave down below. But I know I love it so much that if I wasn't kind of gifted it, I would definitely invest into this. You can also get the shampoo and conditioner in this size as well. So I think you just save a bit more money. You get so much more for it. And just look how big that is. That is phenomenal. Um, and it will last forever. So like I said, I do a mask once to twice a week. I'll either do it in the morning. So what I'll do is before my workout just quickly put a mask in so it's in my hair for like an hour or like this morning I'm wanting to show it to you guys so I've just done a workout put my hair on a mask my face on a mask and I'm just gonna have breakfast and do some admin or I like to do it around like before dinner so I've got it in a, in a mask and it's kind of like sort of dried out so it's kind of okay to sleep in as well but yeah this is the elasticizer it adds elasticity and bounce to fine medium and coarse hair a deep conditioner treatment and honestly I absolutely love it another hair care product I quite enjoy is the Olaplex Perfect number no. 3. That's also a really good one as well. So those are my kind of regular ones I use. So yeah, so I'm going to leave that in a mask now, like in a bun. So what I usually do when before applying my mask is just rinse my hair with just water and um, just make it make sure it's just like damp and not like soaking wet so that the conditioner can get really into it um and then yeah just apply loads to the ends through the hair and also as well make sure you like really massage your scalp so you're really like rejuvenating and just like making a really good like blood flow so all those hair follicles get woken up so yeah so i'm gonna leave this on now make some breakfast do some admin and then i'll come back to you and just talk to you about my shampoo and conditioners okay so hair is washed um this is a i think it's called a qui and they are i'll take my hair out in a minute um they're like designed to be specific hair towels so they're made out of fabrics which aren't going to be damaging to your hair because if you use a normal towel it's not designed for your hair it can be quite create quite um, friction and damage and create more split ends so this helps with quickly drying your hair because it's made out of like really good micro fibers or something like that um, and yeah apparently less breakage less damage um, so your hair is protected in it and also as well the design of it there's a little button at the back so it doesn't fall off I thought I'd quickly talk to you about the shampoos and conditions I use so like I said I'm a big fan of um, Philip Kingsley so the ones that I love to use are the Philip Kingsley Body Building. So it's a volumizers and lifts fine flat flyaway hair. And it's a weightless shampoo and a weightless conditioner. So it's super amazing. I really, really rate Philip Kingsley. I think it's such an incredible range. Another range that I really would recommend if you dye your hair and more so for blonde people is the Red Ken Acidic Bonding Concentrate Shampoo and Conditioner and also a leave-in treatment which I'll do with you in a minute. So it's made out of acidic acid and it's designed to be like pH balancing and also as well it's just going to really help hydrate and put all that moisture back into your hair. Really incredible brand. Um, so these two biggest like go-tos and must-haves in my like a shampoo and conditioner covered. Um, they're just like incredible rains. So if you've got hair like me or you do dye your hair and color your hair, um, would really recommend these. Um, I think this is for, this is designed for, this one specifically is for all colors and textures. This one is designed for fine flat flyaway hair, but Philip Kingsley also do ones for different types of hairs, but this is for everybody, just a little FYI. So I'll quickly show you this towel. And then we'll get into blow drying my hair and what products I use. So it's called Aki, Aqui, and I've got a couple of these. So it looks like this, like so. I'll show you actually how I do it. So where the button is. So when you come out the shower, 
you put the button at the back and throw your hair into the towel bit and then you just twist it like so and then at the back there's a little button like so like that and it's just so simple so i've just done my hair and i've just done my makeup and it just puts it all together it's just so handy also so i think it helps with managing frizz i'll leave it all down below so you can have a look for yourself but yeah let's go and put treatments in my hair and blow dry my hair okay so that is a good setup for you guys to see where i am i'm in my bedroom by my like mirror desk so let's get the products in so first up i'm going to be using a wet brush and i'm just going to really gently start from the beginning the bottom and get the knots out from the bottom and work my way to the top and that's just going to help with less breakage Okay, so there are a couple products that I use. So first up is the Redken. This is the acidic Redken Acidic Perfecting Concentrate Leave-In Treatment. So I just put like a pea size like that. I massage it in my hands to kind of warm it up. And then just start from the bottom and then work my way to the top. And make sure it's all in there. Okay, next up is the Colorwell Dream Co. A Supernatural Spray. It magically transforms texture, amazing humidity proof and powers. So with my hair type, I do have my mum's frizz. My mum's got very curly, poodly hair. Um, so I got that gene as, long, as well as my dad's fine hair gene. So it's a bit of a mixture. So my hair doesn't always play well. So I like to start from the bottom go underneath and then just apply it through so it's kind of like a um, a brazilian treatment you know when people get the perm to straighten their hair i think it's got something like i can't believe what it's got in it but award-winning humidity sealant stops hair from becoming a hot mess in even the highest humidity activated by heat long lasting lasts for three to four shampoos so you don't have to put it all the, all the time but i do I quite like it and then i'm just going to put in some volume so this is the wow extra large bombshell volumizer and it's like foamy pump so then i just like to really gently just put that through and as you can see i have got quite a bit of curl in my hair so today i'm going to just blow dry my hair straight because i'm not going to shoot anything or do anything which needs my hair to be styled and that's something that i'm trying to really do at the moment is just put less heat onto my hair so i'm just gonna blow dry it so today i'm using my this is the electric london blow dryer i just think it's incredible sorry i just had a call so yeah so i'm going to be using my electric work tools blow dryer i just really enjoy this my mum uses it and her hairdressers like work with electric so i always find it gives me the perfect like uh tameness with my frizz i do have the dyson air wrap but for a quick blow dry, I do love just using this because I just think it works amazingly. A noob tool, which you're going to have to just order immediately, which me and Hells have been absolutely adoring, is the Philip Kingsley hairbrush. I think this is the medium or the small. It is amazing and it just really helps create that really tame, soothe, um, smooth blow dry. It's so good and also as well, it's like been designed so it's really protective against your hair but yeah so what i'm gonna do is do a quick blow dry and then i go in to layers sorry i just dropped my blow dryer um and then yeah i'll talk to you through it then So my hair is kind of quickly blow dried, it just makes the process a lot easier. So I'm gonna find my parting first. So what I like to do is with, I have one of these claws, it's just section by section. I like to focus on different layers, so it means that I'm really getting every hair how I want it. Divide it to the sides. So then with the brush, I just kind of like curl it into a little bob like this, and then I just blow dry. And then I do it to each layer. Also trying to make sure that I'm doing the blow dry in a downwards angle so I'm not pushing any any split ends flyaways up so I'm trying to push all my hair down to create a really smooth look.
most of my hair is done now so nice and like flat and puffy like nice volume I now have as you, as you can see I've left the front bit what I'm going to do is just really give it volume and then leave it in one of these kind of rollers to just create more volume whilst I'm around the house so as you can see I've just like I divided it from the rest of the hair and I'm going to now I've got so many baby growth hair I'm going to now just wrap it around my brush and then just create volume <laughs> Because I've just got a big chunk, I just need to do it kind of in sections. And then, now I've got that, the barrel, like so. And then with a clip, just put it in so it holds it in place. And then what I'm going to do for a final blow dry is just put it on a cool temperature to like cool it down and make it glossy. <laughs> That should help with like less frizz. And then I'm gonna get a tiny bit of oil just to add some hydration. This is the Live and Proof Frizz, crossed out frizz, vanishing oil stops frizz and adds healthy shine. So I'm gonna put a tiny in my hands and just again I like to start at the back and then work it through. But I've noticed with this one, it's not too much of a heavy oil. It's actually quite a nice one. So I just like to run it through just kind of like play with my hair whilst finishing using the oil and yeah so i'll leave it like this for a bit so that is my hair care all in one video so as you can see the flicks here they've just given like kind of like a bit more of an undone touch to this blow dry blowout which i quite like i didn't want it to be too straight and too all like symmetry i think that'd look a bit too funny on my face but yeah that is my hair for today and i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was useful to you guys and also as well to share with you like what i use and what i do also as well if you have any tips and tricks if you have similar hair to me or you have something that in your room routine which you swear by which helps your hair grow and stay strong then please let me know massive help but yeah like always everything will be down below in the description box again i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please like and subscribe it really supports my channel other than that i will see you in the next video